Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox 64. My name is Ravage Talon, and we're moving right along here with the three medium missions. We're moving on to the mission called Solar. Gee, I wonder why it's called Solar. Maybe it's because it's a freaking sun. Don't you know. go burning that R wing. We're gonna go fly around on a freaking sun, which doesn't I'll make any careful. sense whatsoever. Basically, it just looks like a lava planet, but this is pr this is supposed to be the sun of the Lilat system. Now, there's a nice little gimmick to this level. Because it's so hot, you take periodic damage throughout the entire level. Not really much to worry about, but you can't fly very Keep low. An gauge. Basically, if you stay to the top of the screen, you don't take that the much damage. Might not make <clears throat> this baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. And apparently your allies only don't take damage if you're they're attention. talking. Which is stupid. Shoot the rock! Yeah, so you basically you can shoot rocks and you gain like health. You some help, and what's his face from the last level Don't get too excited. decides to join you. But basically all you're really shooting in this level are rocks. Which kind of makes a whole lot of sense. If I help you again. Watch yourself, Fox. Of course now there's some flying lava birds. Or some shit. And those star power-ups are, uh... They're attacking your group. They give you a lot of health back, more than the rings do. Location confirmed. There's a lot of that. Usually something like that would give you a uh, gold ring. Whole bunch of bombs. Which is nice. All of those guys drop bombs when they die. Buddy, go away. Of course he is. Good riddance. You probably deserved it, jerk. Falco, you're a douche. Then, then get the fuck out of here, you useless bastard. I swear to God. This is another level I haven't done in a long time. I kind of forget what it does in a lot of places. Oh god. Location confirmed. Supplies. More supplies. If your health is really low, when that supply call comes in, it will be one of those big uh, star rings. That gives you a whole bunch of health. But basically there's enough health in this level to keep your energy high. So you don't really ever have to worry about dying unless you really suck. But I don't suck. I've been playing this game forever, and oh look at that, we're at the boss already. Just a whole bunch of destroying rocks. Data analysis complete. Here it comes. Maybe it's an arm. Aim for the arm. Oh my god. No shit, Sherlock. Basically it's just this giant thing that swims around in the lava and splashes you, you gotta blow his arm off, and then he profusely bleeds lava out of his arm. And he splashes lava at you, and it's annoying. But he also spits out rocks that generate health, and it just makes it stupidly easy. Once you blow off his arm, he takes some swings at you. Okay, so you got both arms blown off. Now all you really do is just shoot him in the head. You should go down pretty quickly. He has some other attacks too, but we didn't let him get that far. And he goes kaboom. Yeah. Seems like a daunting level, it really isn't. There's so much health, even on expert mode. Which I'm not playing on, but... I'm having some trouble here. <sighs> I could have played expert mode. I could just use the game shark to unlock hits, it just so okay. I didn't have to play through the game once to get all the medals. But screw ah, it. You're getting better, Fox. I've been better than you, at least. 
You are terrible. Anyway, that was the second medium level. We'll see in a bit for the third medium level, which I think is a really fun one. We'll see in a bit. Ravage Talent signing out.